Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'll just hold off on those now. Heal up Skarmory and you. Brutal Grey Tones. What? What do you mean? Lapras have caught in the terrarium. Ink have caught the terrarium. Rhyhorn terrarium. Or right on. Muck the terrarium. Minior, I met. I caught it over in Chargestone Cavern, which is in the terrarium. And then Skarmory, I caught in a terror raid that was in the terrarium on another person's server. Oh, fuck. Is that the one that's causing it? Fuck me. Yeah, it was Skarmory. Craig? Oh, fucking hell. Rampardos and Shield? Oh, Rampardos and Bastard on. Okay. Mold Breaker. Shield's down. Let's try out Par uh, Let's try out Parish Song. <laughs> Minior has the crappiest moveset I've ever seen. I should have known. Oh! Rampardos was damaged by recoil and fainted. I want a revive on mini ore, please. Thank you. First off, I need to give Minior a better moveset, please. Mm. 
name. So keep Shell Smash and keep Power Gym. I need to get rid of what was it? Double Edge and Explosion. First off, give me Rock Slide. Where is Rock Slide? Here we go. Oh, what's, what's higher? Physical attack is higher. Okay, so first off, let's get rid of Double Edge. Let's learn Stone Edge. Get rid of Explosion. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Flying type as well. Acrobatics, acrobatics. Let's get rid of Power Gym, put on, put on acrobatics. Yes, perfect. Let me say this right now, for anyone watching, if you raise up your manure perfectly and have this specific moveset, acrobatics, rock slide, shell smash, and stone edge, you raise up your manure perfectly, level 100, hyper trained, this is going to be broken. Just like the same way Surreal Edge is with Sword Stance and uh, Bigger Blade. He's the same type as her, so I'm like, ready for a shot? Oh boy. So I have to deal with electric types on this one? Uh, fucking perfect. Uh. I am at a double disadvantage on that one for between Mini War and Magnezone. Let's do Hydro Pump on Magnezone, and then we'll do Rock Slide, because that way, if Sturdy is in effect for Magnezone, it'll at least knock it down again. It'll knock it down in that. Never mind. doing Parish Song, but if it comes down to it, I will. So let's try Hydro Pump on Magna Zone again, and then Acrobatics on Zep Striker. Ooh, back the bitch out. Ooh, try attack. Everyone's Parish Count fell down to two. need to uh, heal up my Pokemon and I'm all good to go for that last battle. 
Is quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver? Oh. They're saying ready to shiver like that, then I know for a fact they're using ice types. Winter? Dugong and Sand Slash. Oh, fuck, dude. Parish Song and Rock Slide. Do go on die. Neutral effective on uh, Sand Slash, I think. Yeah. Sand Slash flinched and couldn't move. I do not want to take the chance on this one. So, you, and then Inke. Minior, come back. So Inke, so Inke will go in at Minior's spot. Lapras will be returned and be replaced with Muck. And then use this Aqua Tail. Nice. I normally don't like doing Parish Song like that because it's like a cheatsy way to win like that. But if I ever have to, I will be forced to. Oh boy. I figured. I'm not battling you with the frickin' party I put together for this. But I need Tinkaton. Where's Tinkaton at? I put it back in the frickin' box specifically made for my uh... Terror typing 
Yeah, I'm ready now. Hmm. Here should be good. What about the look you get when you're in battle? I didn't realize I've only ever seen you like that from a silence. I guess now I know what it's like to face you from across the court. Conquer the whole BB League. Why don't we get this roll? Nice and easy. Go, no, bud. Show me a good time. Dragonite and Flygon. Damn. What a matchup for the first two. First off, Sword Stance, and then you use Polaroff on Dragonite. Doesn't affect Dragonite. Oh, Tinkaton is out right off the bat. Tailwind. Oh, fuck. This is going to be a rough one for sure. Quackavella, you're getting sent in because of your uh, ice spinner. So, you and then ice spinner on Dragonite. Septile. Okay, you use play rough on Dragonite, and in the meantime, tech. Four store uh, uh, max potion on Mimikyu because Mimikyu doesn't have a status effect right now. But Septile, you know what? That kind of makes sense as well because of, even though the mechanic isn't in the game right now. Mega Evolution Septile is technically a dragon type. Haxorus. Okay. So...
Okay, so play rough on Haxorus, Ice Spinner on Sceptile. Oh fuck. If I knew that was gonna happen, I would have used frickin' uh, Shadow Snake. Used Dragon Shear? The fuck? Song against Septile, and then you use Ice Spinner on Haxorus. Oh! Fuck. I need Max Revive on Quackaball, for sure. Because Meowskurata has play rough, I'm just gonna do it, whatever. Kingdra! Ah, fuck. Flower trick on Kingdra, it's gonna be neutral effective. Breaking swipe. Critical hit on Mioscarada. Uh, physical attack fell for both of them, but Skeledurge doesn't rely on physical attack. Come on. Come on. There's a shadow ball to that one. Kingdra's out. So there's, that's a good sign. Blasted Electro shot. Absorbed electricity. That's not good. Play rough, and it missed. Shadow ball. Ooh! Stamina. Oh, defense rose. Fuck. That's on... Oh. Okay. At least flower trick first. 
does some good damage. Even though it's not very effective, but it's still a critical hit. So that's a good thing. Shadow Ball. And then Arch Aladon faints. Oh boy. That was a close call. you a full member finally is it ready to be real real yeah let's go so it's all four members defeated all that's left now is the champ thing I'm supposed to do. I am the TMs to whoever can beat us in League Foreman. And that wait here a sec. Like I said. Dragon oh there it is, Dragon Shear. Raises its allies' morale with a draconic cry so that their future attacks have a heightened chance of landing critical hits. This rouses dragon types more. Oh shit. <coughs> You're gonna know to beat all Elite Four of us. So you, and only you, have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kirin. You really kept me awake. Took you a while to beat the Nick Wall. Kind of slow for you, wasn't it? Nice, Karen. You really got Shadow on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Drayton. Sure, I'm putting a lot of effort into helping Shadow out. Who wouldn't help out a new student? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. And the plan is about to come to an end. Settle who's the strongest between us two. Once and for all. Pumped for you. I'll have to go sign you up at the front desk to get your championship match going. No sense in waiting around, though. Let's go. Damn. That was the closest match I've ever had in a while. No, it's the other way, it's the other way. Other way, other way, other way, other way, other way. Over here, over here. And there it is down there. Heal my Pokemon. that done let's change out some Pokemon first off you go there oh no uh, Tinkaton goes at the bottom and then Mimikyu over here uh Cerulege. and then finally I think against Kirin it would only be right if I used Coridon as the final Pokemon just as a precaution because I don't know how sh exactly how strong he's going to be.
Ah! I did not mean to take a snapshot of that one. Where's that? Oh, there was all the way in, all the way at the frickin' uh, yeah, fly there. Okay, now that I'm here, change battle form, there we go, and that don't I there are times where I feel like I should have given him the clear amulet but I keep forgetting that each time I have to take it off of him just as a precaution unremarkable teacup masterpiece teacup oh yeah hmm The fuck? Am I just lost or something? I thought I... Hmm... Sort by name. Oh, there it is. Uh, give two Pokemon, right on, and bada bing bada boom, I'm all set to go. Uh, save, just in case. Hey, oh shit! And just sign up for your official match. Match, match. So, just take a moment. You said you and Kieran are friends, right? Yeah. Huh, no kidding. I liked Kieran better when his hair was down. Used to be this quiet little guy, trouble like a wind. Had all the spine of a wind. Had all the spine of a wind pod. He'd hide behind Carmine if he so much as breathed too loud. But I tell you what, when it came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in him with eyes as his. But then, out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless. Pushes every. Pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing good's gonna come out, come with this. Someone's gonna snap him out of it. And I tried, but couldn't do it. Guess I've gone soft for my ways of life. So, well, I guess it falls to you. Sorry, but everything's ready. You need a battle with Kieran? Uh, not yet. Not clearing. Actually, save Ogre Pond as the last surprise for Kieran. I do want to make sure everyone is hyper trained. Yes? Hyper trained, hyper trained, hyper trained, hyper trained, hyper trained, hyper trained. Yep. Everyone is hyper trained on that one. Okay, I'm set. Yep. We'll begin soon. Please make sure you're ready. Well, it's all up to you, Shadow. Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering for you. Oh boy. An official BB Link announcement. A championship match is about to begin at the battle court near the entrance to the academy. If you would like to watch the match, please make your way there.
I don't like Kieran the way he is right now. Go back to the way you were back when you were in Kitakami. Kept me waiting. I worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Shadow. I put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. All of that work, hard work, all of it. All of it was just so that I could beat you. Right here, right now. BB League of Champion, Kieran. Politoed and, yeah, Dragonite. No, I'm making the right choice. You'll understand that soon enough. Here we go. Drizzle. Fuck you. No, I cannot take a chance with Dragonite on the field. matter the type matchups work out for you, no. I'll still win. Used Hurricane. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck me. Kid, you found him. Kid, come on, huh? Oh, you want to be like that, huh? Alright, fine. You've got some nerve bringing up the ogre now of all times! Embody aspect. Raises the speed. <laughs> Even Lux chosen you over me. It's not fair. How's your Christmas morning going so far? Boring Gumsy! Incineroar? That was a mistake. Ivy Cudgel on. V, liquidation, incineroar. Ah. Snarl of all things. Yeah, Ivy Cudgel, and then we need. Oh, I freaking hit Grim Snarl. Okay, never mind, never mind. I forgot. Ogre Pond raised her speed, so. Oh, it's still going there. Yeah. 
Flare Blitz. Ooh! Shit. Okay. I'm not taking a risk on that one. Max Potion on Ogre Palm, and then Liquidation and Sooner. Now I hit in Sooner War. Oh. How are you still alive? Damn. And a Citrus Berry. Air break? Oh fuck. on that one. I don't know. Hydra Apple? Oh, is that the new one? Oh, man. Super Sweet Syrup. Evasiveness. Evasiveness. Oh, it's the last one. Nice. Uh, if I remember correctly, this would still be Grass Dragons, so... I am going to use this turn for Ogapon to use a Hyper Potion on Quackaval, and then Quackaval will use Ice Spinner... Don't need the old me anymore. Damn. He went through a full blown transformation. Oh, you turned it into fighting. Fuck. Well. Oh. This helps out now. Hit him with the Ivy Cudgel. Victory will be mine and mine alone. Fickle Beam? It's going all out for this. Damn! Ogre Pond, you did your best. Sweep and then finish it off with a psycho cut. Okay, I will say his bat his battle theme music here slaps is so good. What? Huh? Gave me twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> Shit. He actually lost. Why? 
This wasn't supposed to happen. No, no, no. Where you go? Both of you. No, it's not supposed to happen. room, would you? Drayden? Good match, you too. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? Ah! Ex-champion. Oh, no. That worries me. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Guess we got a new BB League champion. Got a prize for people like you who make it all the way to being champion. They're all yours. So, now I just have two freaking Master Balls for no freaking reason. Hey, Kieran. This may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but I wish you'd go back to having fun with all this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let the desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. Come on, let's all go in. It's time. Come again? Next time, for sure. Oh, I'll win. Next time, I'll win. Aww. Oof. Um, if we might, um, interrupt. Well, first, of course, we want to offer Shadow our congratulations for becoming champion. It really is an amazing achievement, something that could be celebrated, but with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Proceed with what? Well, think about it a moment, would you? If Shadow is our champion, then that means he is head of the Link Club. But he's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan here if he doesn't stick around? There's so many particulars to surround. Oh. Huh. Yeah. And of course, if Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Wait, what? Me? That's bad, isn't it? I'd like to hear from Kieran himself what he would like to do next. Kieran. Eh? For the following students. BB League Champion Kieran, Top Elite 4 member Drayden, Carmine of Class 3-2, Shadow, our exchange student. Mrs. Briar and some guests would like to see you. Please proceed to Classroom 1-4 as soon as possible. Me, Kieran, Carmine, and Drayden. What the fuck? What's here? Huh? We're gonna need to update that. Yeah. Briar hanging, or we'll never hear the end of it. Go on ahead, we'll meet you there. Mm -hmm. Even if I gotta carry him. <laughs> if you actually do, that's gonna be funny as fuck. I need to revive Koridon and Ogre Pond now. Koridon got absolutely massacred at the beginning between freaking. What was it? It was Dragonite and. Uh. Politoed. It's like. I think first it got hit with Hurricane, which took it down a good notch, and then it got hit with Ice Beam, which finished off the job. 
Hey, Mrs. Pryor. Here we are, Mrs. Bean. Thank you all for coming. That some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for they left for a tour at the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon. I'll fill you all in on the situation. Have a seat. Do my mind too. These knees are creaky. <laughs> what the fuck? Please, you're not old enough for that yet. I'm getting there. But, could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? Yeah, that was insensitive. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Oh boy, here we go. That's that place in Paul Day you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping that we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Terrapagos? A legendary Pokemon? Gita! Another exciting idea, isn't it? And Rika! There you are, Gina. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. La Primera! Mm, Champion Shadow? I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, of course. You must be participating in the student exchange pr program. <laughs> Shadow just got crowned our new BB Link champion, too. Is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly wonderful. Oh, no. oh well, I don't suppose that bodes well. Don't mind if I explain the situation to the children, right? By all means. Chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero the great crater at the center of Paldea. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries, and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits, even for research. That being said, recently we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time, to study Area Zero. So, you reached out to me, as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with Champion Shadow also on the team, I know I could safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely, entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join in our little team as we explore Area Zero? Heck yeah! Oh, well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. You're very useful as always, Carmen. I appreciate having you on board. Sorry, I'll pass on this one. Let me close the whole mess right now. I need my steady hand on the wheel here. Sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paltea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. I'm curious what our mighty ex-champion is thinking of. I'm going. There's a legendary po Pokemon there. I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then it's decided. And this, but it seems the team will consist of Karma and Karen and Sh Shadow and myself. Thanks for your help on this matter. Lord, to the great kindness that you will no doubt bring back. Oh, Lord. Right. It's, it's freaking 2.30 in the morning right now. My throat is drying up unless I drink something.
Jesus. You know, two. I just... I never dreamed we'd be running into you. Yep. Hey, that's what champions do. Not to tell. Uh-oh. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into a great crater without Bunny's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not gonna get a scolding for that. Sorry. Oh, I'm oh, sure now you're sorry. That thing fell out of my seat when I heard about where you'd been. Calm oh, down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. Besides, we have good reason to believe that all of Aldea would have been at risk if Champion Shadow here and ventured into Area Zero. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's true, but... Fine, I'll let you off the hook this one time. You better thank the boss for stepping in. She's more this time, you'll be heading to Area Zero with official link permission. Oh, Jesus. People know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform us prior of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of what, didn't you say you had something to give to that prior person? Yes. Yes, I did. I forgot. Be so kind as to take this for me. Mysterious disc with an indigo shine to it, given to you by the top champion. It seems to be tied to Area Zero. <laughs> it's literally just called an indigo disc. God damn it. I think it was a TM or something. Sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. It's certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. As to its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Aaron's Zero. Yeah, yeah. Did you want him to pick up some potato salad on the way back, too? I do ask that you return the disc to me if you end up not finding it. We do not know about Aaron's Zero. Oh, boy. I've got my own work to do. You're a mess down here, but don't push yourself too hard. You hear? No promises. It says meet up with Miss Briar and the others. Oh, they're at the entrance, I guess. I'm ready to go. I'm fine anyway. Kieran? Yeah, me too. Jeez. No time to calm down. Uh, well, that's good. I know what I have to do. Find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. Because of the fact that I caught Ogre, yeah, because of the fact that I caught Ogre Pond, so now he's gonna be going over, uh, going after Tetrapagos. Shall we? Yeah. Here we go. Whoa, Miss Briar, calm down, calm down. Whoa, this is incredible. Bowsers. Uh. 
Uh, so you've been here before, right, Shen? Yeah, with my friends. Friends, huh? Come right on! Scared! Too many to come popping out like that. Dirt. What you done? So you came here with Shadow back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area 2. But alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area 0. And see what's even deeper. Deeper down than Zero? Than the Zero Lab? He mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths of s to some place even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Well, either way, we should start by making for the Zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead, Shadow. Oh, so I don't have to worry about them freaking following me. I can just immediately go straight forward. Cowabunga. Yay! Here we go. It's been some time since I've last been down here. What the fuck? <sighs> last time I came down this far was to catch some more Paradox Pokemon to do trading with my buddy. So, where the fuck am I supposed to go now? There's Screamtail. Eparta. Oh, I almost ran into Brute Bonnet there. Some more Screamtail. Glamora. Here we go, the entrance to Zero Lab. It's insane. It reminds me of the Crystal Pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it? The structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero? Right? Well... Yes, and no. Huh? This is the deepest point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So, you're saying we should head inside this Zero Lab? Gate's closed, though. Huh? Oh, you're right. What do we do now, Shadow? You've been here before, right? I gotta use the panel. Feels like a spy move or something. Way cool. What? I didn't say anything. Can we count on you to unlock the gate, Shadow? Sure. Oh. Yep. 
Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance locked. What's the matter? Something wrong with it? It opened before though, right? Is there some extra step we're missing? Oh, there were four locks before. See, so last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. Huh? It's time. Insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Oh. Relax, it's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. Mm. What could it be mean by that? Before we depart, you, you think that's it? Do it, you have my permission. Please insert indigo disc. In you go. Confirmed. Zero Lab Elevator redirected to Area Zero Under Depths. What the fuck? Look at that. Sweet Lord of Mercy. Oh my god. God, it's been some time since I've last been in here. Oh, man. Carmine? It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk. Hmm? Shut it. Where's Miss Briar anyway? She's busy rummaging through like a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. You're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Damn! She just roasted her own brother like that. Maybe it can take us further down? You want to go down, right? Down, you say? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Last time to reach the mysterious room, I mentioned it. Sure did. How exciting. Well, we've no time to waste. Let's go down. And it was redirected to Area Zero Under Depths. Just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. Yeah, moving pretty fast actually. Almost feels like I'm floating. Right, everyone, that panel we used to unlock the gate, didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Something about an elevator being redirected, right? There is only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. Must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So where exactly is this thing taking us? Oh, hmm. Where indeed? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What are you saying? Oh my god. What the fuck am 
am I looking at? So, what? Are we under Area Zero or something? It's far deeper than where we last went. The fuck was that? What the fuck was those hands motion? What the fuck? It was already a lot to take in. I don't think anything's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Hey, hey. what's all this stuff? Oh, what are desks doing down here? This is. This is a report written by the esteemed Professor Sada. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero and there slumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I have never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this terror type the Stellar type for now. Could Terrapagos' influence be at play? Terrapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero and slumbering in the form of a, a crystal? Why is this about a Stellar terror type? Can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further. Then. But okay, let's go. Put you toward our own eyes, after all. Yeah. Stay on guard, everyone. What in the fuck? This is so beautiful and ama I lost. Words are lost. Let's give it a go. Oh, a plant alone. Of pure terrestrial energy. We've no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Glamora! There are Pokemon all the way down here? But what's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. You know you're no good at battle, Miss Briar. Kiki? No, Shadow? You should be this. So what am I... What was up with that one? What the... What the hell? Is that the stellar type? Oh fuck, dude. Ay ay ay. Yep. I have a feeling I'm gonna meet Terrapagos pretty soon. It's weird though, I have two freaking Master Balls. And I know I'm gonna use one of them on Terrapagos, but the other one, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna use it on.
Yeah, that, that was 100% the Stella. The Stella. The stellar terror typing. To a rock. <laughs> I would be very, like, 100% surprised if down here with all these carvings and then all of a sudden, boom, Diancy. That would surprise the crap out of me. What's that? Hydro pump, really? Man. Split off from the side like that, I figured it would be something more. Don't get me wrong, I, li I like Hydro Pump. I just thought it was going to be a little bit something more. <laughs> full two full restores on that one. Okay. So that one, and... So, if it's, if they're labeled as stellar terra typing, do they just technically still have the same typing as they do normally? Or, this is so confusing for me. Because, last, last time I got confused about a whole typing situation was when they introduced fairy typing into Gen 6. And then over time, I got used to it. Now I'm getting confused all over again thanks to stellar terror typing. Oh, they do, they do keep their original typing when they're stellar. They're just extremely powered up. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kenneth. Pokemon at. Now that's where I came from. What the fuck? Right? No, that's not where I came from. So what? So what's this way? Oh. What? Let's 
16 ground terror shards? Damn. I'm sorry, excuse me? Sandy Shacks. If I remember correctly. Nope. I cannot remember correctly. <laughs> It's been a while since I've encountered Sandy Shocks. I just know it's electric. Maybe, I don't know. Oh. Oh, ground electric. There we go. These Pokemon are lucky they have the terrestrialization because otherwise it would be a one hit KO. Anything else over here, real quick, before I head back? Crystal, normal terror shards. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I think that's pretty much it for now. There we go. Okay, she, hey, it gives me a chance to get some more uh, terrestrialization crystals. I think this might potentially be the deepest we have to go because of how all the water is around us right now. From I? You don't want to get your clothes wet, she says. What the fuck? Alright, fine. Is that it? Oh, it's, oh. <laughs> From the distance, it made me think, why is there a random ter uh, terrestrialization crystal raid here? Then I get closer to Garganical. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Well, that 
neutralized to assault. Your turn to call over Shadow. Maybe he'd rather have you do it. Quit your blocker. Just <laughs> damn. Because Carmine, I think, did it the first time. Briar did it the last time. Purple map. We can keep going. Knife was so. I just realized my phone's at 15%. Oh well. I'll rely on a bit too much on him. We just keep going. So me and my team are just about spent. Since Chad's all I've got left, so if something happens, you better save me. I have a full team of level 100 Pokemon, so I think I'm set. Oh! I think it's reacted to something? Alright, minus two. I'm thinking of a truly stunning level of terrestrial energy. Seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? Hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh boy. That was too. Is this place? Vimes here are a totally different level. Where is it? There, Kieran. Up ahead. There's something among those pillars. Don't y'all even start. Stones? The hidden treasure? And they won't, I just need to check something. If I can get the hidden treasure at area zero, I can finally beat Shadow. Kinky, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut up, sis. Everything I've ever done is a strong Pokemon. Well, anyone who wants it, I'm going to be friends with him, right? I left the Ogre Pond since forever ago. But even Ogre Pond shows him over here. But Kinky, you did your best too. Even you, sis. You're being a nasty towards him at first, but then boom, you're like best friends in the world. Eh, well, I've got nothing. It's 
Sorry, for what? Still lost in yet. Is this all the other left in town? Found it. This crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Karen. Pull up everything you can. Show us the new treasure here. This is not going to go well. Oh, no. There's no doubt in it. This crystal must be Tanapagos. Is it? It's a normal type? Oh. Man. Actually, now that, now that you say that, wouldn't this technically be considered the full, uh, like the first ever full, uh, fully normal type legendary Pokemon? You just catch that sucker against his will? What the f- Finally. I'm done, Karen. Brought along the Master Ball telling me you were well prepared for this. But, it's no time like the present. Give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right here. Well, you heard her, Shadow. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. Get ready so we can start. Ay, fuck. You know what? If I'm gonna do this right, it needs to be a battle between the two legendaries of Area Zero. Which means Terrapagos is gonna get splattered. Embrace yourself. This time, I'll definitely beat you, Shadow. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> the size difference. Terror shift. Oh, it turns into that for its ability. It's not the terrorist, uh, terrestrialization. Zen headbutt. Ah, uh, sorry, buddy. Well, I think this battle is short-lived. Okay, so I think its ability changed when it... Oh, <laughs> Never mind. I think... Was it only that one time when its uh, typing changed to something? Or does it randomly change typings each turn? Why? 
If I just had the terra piles, I had the hidden treasure area zero, if it, it would make me stronger. I thought I didn't let I thought they didn't let me beat Shadow. That's enough. It's time to stop. Mm. Oh, if he uses a different move, his type changes. So, because he used Zen Headbutt twice in a row, what? But because of the fact he used Zen Headbutt twice in a row, was it psychic the first time and then it changed back to normal? gotta constantly keep using different moves each turn so that way it can keep changing its typing got it okay actually it makes me think what would the terror blast for stellar type look like oh sweet lord There you go, Tyrion. Oh, I'm getting out of hand, Kiki. To return to the Pondos to its battle. Okay, come back to the Pondos. The Master Ball broke. Yeah, I can I can tell that Briar is crazy about Area Zero. Sinister. I need to land two attacks in order to do that. Okay. So first off, raise the attack. There is Starstorm. Oh. Matcha gotcha. Why is that? The Terra, the Terra Star Storm, it reminds me of the, uh, of the, uh, well, it's the Shooting Star Barrage from Super Mario RPG Remake. That's, <laughs> oh, Lord of Mercy. That, Super Mario RPG was such a fun game to play. I'm just sad that I didn't get a chance to actually stream it.
There goes Sinistra. I know you can do this. I used Sword Stance once. You have the sunlight. Uh, you're bathing in sunlight so you can get stronger. You are officially terrestrialized with Rain Plant. So this is bound to be a lot of damage. Crap. What? Never mind. I take back what I said. Absorb terrestrial energy. What? What? Oh, that's new. Say it is now. Uh, no, mind. It's not gonna tell me no matter what. Drain Punch is not going to work that well right now. Oh! Psychic type right now. It won't work that well because my freaking uh, terrestrialization is fighting type. Okay, I'm gonna let you go for now. Sorry, Karidon, you did your best, buddy. For now, let's change to Mioscarada. So the way Terapod goes is right now, it's typing is Psychic. So, oh fuck, I should not have terrestrialized him. <laughs> Damn! This is insane! Hydra Apple! Uh, 
There we go again. The way that it looks right now, it looks like it's water typing. So that's... Okay. It looks like it's water typing. It is. Oh Lord of Mercy. Terra Starstorm. Wouldn't that be very effective on other of us, but Speed fell. I need one more attack for that. Can't absorb any more energy or put up another barrier. Yes. All out. Flower trick will do the finishing touch. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Especially for a legendary. Maybe it'll go inside a bone now. No, okay. You got this. Oh, he's letting me catch it now? Last time I had a uh, last time I had a super crazy Terra battle was during the whole uh, what was it the Mewtwo event. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I, I messed up too. I looked up the shadow for so long. I wanted to be like him so, so badly. I didn't know what else to do. But I guess I just don't have it in me to be like him after all. Finally, finally I can let it go. You're really cool too. Just there it is. So, yeah, it's such a silly yellow brother. Well, let me go.
<laughs> what the fuck? You must have been so scared. You all shown brilliantly just now. Truly dazzling. And in the end, our shadow even managed to catch Chagapagos. So, I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. After watching Zilla and HQ and Usman uh, Gold, YouTube recommended me your streams. I don't know what you're talking about. Streams? Plural? This is the first one that I've done. But I have done multiple of. multitude of videos before. Uh, you, Gary. It's just I've been on a hiatus recently, uh, the past month, like two or three months. Because a lot of friggin' life stuff had been happening. Hey, we're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. That's it for Indigo Disc. Oh, that's like... That's it for Indigo Disc, yeah. Uh, the... Next time I would probably be doing a Pokemon stream is... I know for sure I'm definitely doing one in January when the epilogue comes out for Kitakami. That's a guarantee. But as far as this, I... Hmm... I don't know. Because normally whenever it comes to me uh, catching the Pokemon and trying to complete the Pokedex, I normally always like to do that on my own since I've always focused and I don't normally talk that much whenever it happens. But, I mean, if y'all want to, if y'all would want to see that happen, I'm down for it. I just have to figure out a specific day to do that. Wait a second. I just realized music for this. Hold on. Yeah, I, I had to freaking mute the, I just, I had to mute the music for a little bit because, uh, last time, uh, when I did the video back in, I think it was, actually, I think it was last year, yeah, because when I did the videos for, uh, last year when Pokemon Scarlet and Violet originally came out, I ended up leaving in the complete version of the credits and for that specific video it got hit with copyright because it's celestial by ed sharon i didn't want to take a risk
Jesus, there's a lot of people that worked on this. But then again, it is a Pokemon game, ga uh, Game Freak, Creatures Incorporated. So it's expected. What sucks is there's no way to skip it, is there? Damn. But yeah. For Indigo Disc, I'd have to... I'd definitely have to give that one... Uh, well, story-wise, I'd definitely give it... Like, uh, like an A- kind of grade. Ending theme, Celestial Remix by Toby Fox. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking called it, dude. God damn it, both Ed Sheeran and Toby Fox are trying to get me taken off. Exactly. <laughs> so that was it for Indigo. Hold on. I'm going to double check to see if anything pops up. Yeah. I was going to say, if nothing pops up uh, right now, after the credits, then I'm just going to save the game and that's going to be it for the stream. Pretty much. For the following student, Shadow from Naranjaya Academy. Mrs. Briar would like to see you in classroom one four. She has some important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. Oh boy. Alright. Well, let's see what Miss Briar has to say to us. Miss Briar's there. Armor's there. The director is there in the league club room. So, what did you want to say? Yep. It really is an enviable thing. All wrung out despite having been back for a while now. On to why I call. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we've discovered on things. Honestly, I've hardly slept. Uh, you should go to sleep. Turn it all into a book, but don't worry. I've made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So, voila! A proof copy of the book. Freshly delivered from my publisher, just for you. Ooh, okay. A proof copy of the exploration notes covering the Area Zero under depths. It's filled with long paragraphs describing what happened along with Briar's thoughts. Oh boy. You mind showing me your Terra Orb Shadow? Uh, okay. Maybe just like Kieran's and Carmine's orbs. I think it might be because your orbs were directly exposed to the energy from Terrapagos. Say that ever since the Underdeaths, they've been able they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without t charging their Terra orbs. There's one more piece of news I should share with you really to Terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling of the Terrarium? Until now, I've been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the crystal pool in Kitakami. That's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our academy grounds. 
and it makes and it caused the properties of the core to change. Uh oh. Uh oh. Should that be considered a good thing or a bad thing? Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium. And they and they have the stel oh the stellar terror type. Oh fucking. Stellar type terrestrialization grants a boost to moves, but only once per move type. After you use a move, no other moves of the, that same type will get the boost. In terror raid battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. Nice. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance of, to the academy. Huh? A guy in a blue suit? Hold on. Hold up. What you mean a guy in a blue suit is looking for me? This guy? Who are you? Snacks worth. Oh, for the old barbecues, I reward them with snacks. For our very special treats, made just to the tastes of certain Pokemon. With one of my snacks in hand, you may find yourself running into quite spectacular Pokemon. So, come give old Snacks worth the latest whenever you've been hard at work on those barbecues. I don't think I've ever tried doing a barbecue yet. How is the barbecue thing similar to the picnic? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't tried it out yet. Just the person I was looking for. A new BB League champion, am I right? I just now realized something about uh, director Serrano. His scarf resembles the same sash Honedge has. That scares me a little bit. What the fuck? Come as special coaches or something. You got lots of friends and everything. I mean, like teachers from your school, gym leaders, that sort of thing. Oh, any strong friends of yours are also welcome here. Leave it to me. I knew you were the right person to ask. Use the club room computer to contact anyone you want to invite. Oh, but it'll cost BP. We'll need to pay for their trip and such. Here's some to get you started. Two hundred. I think I'll arrange for the special coaches to stay in this club room when they're not teaching. You should have a chat with them while they're here. Now then, I'll leave it to you. Enjoy! Before I start doing the special coaches thing, I need to learn the, uh, inviting special coaches. Yep. Invite your friends and acquaintances from the Paldea region to visit Blueberry Academy as special coaches who you can talk to and battle with. You can have a max of two visitors over at a time. Now, here's the thing, though. The, uh... What is it? The blueberry points. How exactly do I get those again? I've, I get those from the barbecue? Oh, 
I want to try doing the barbecue. Do I do that in the... I think I do that in the terrarium, right? Hmm. Thank you, Kenneth. I, I thought the freaking BBQ stood for a legitimate like barbecue grill, and I'm like, hey, Unifa's based on uh, a little bit of America, so <laughs> that's where my mind went to at first. You know, I think I'll just save it for now because it's getting pretty close to being 4 o'clock in the morning over here where I'm at in my central time zone. So, with that being said and done, I think... This is where I'm, uh, I think this has been a great stream, so, uh, for Pokemon Scarlet Indigo Disc. The entire thing with Indigo Disc was beautiful. I loved it. The Terrarium in Blueberry Academy looks amazing. I love it. And, and, and. Obviously, I still plan on doing the whole Pokedex, and then I need to talk to Perrin at some point. But I don't know if I want to do that on stream or not. It's completely up to you guys if y'all would want to see a stream of that happen or not. Thank you guys for spending this night with me for Indigo Disc. Oh, you would like to have that live stream? All right. All right, Kenneth. I can do a... Yeah, I can do another live stream where I'm doing the Pokedex. 
That's going to be fun. And then, obviously, that same live stream, I'll, once I hit 200 entries in the Pokedex, I'm going to talk to Perrin. And then, obviously, you can't forget about the le uh, the returning legendaries. Those are going to be included in that as well. Well, everyone, good night, happy holidays, happy new year.